Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve error coming across the application was unable to start correctly. Error code 0xc0007b and it says click OK to close the application on your Windows device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to begin this tutorial by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but we're going to open up Google Chrome for today's tutorial. And you want to navigate over to google.com. And into Google, you want to go search up DirectX Download and just search for that. Best result should come back with download DirectX and user runtime web installer. Make sure you're getting it directly from Microsoft here. It should say www.microsoft.com. Go ahead and select that. Select the orange download button. Should take a moment to download here. Go ahead and just open that setup file up once it's done downloading. If you receive a user account control prompt, it should say DirectX SDK. Verify Publisher Microsoft Corporation. Go ahead and select Yes. You can close out of your web browser too at this time. It should say Welcome to Setup for DirectX. Once you've read through the end user license terms, you want to go ahead and accept them and then select Next. I'm going to uncheck the Bing Bar optional installation because it's not necessary. And then I'm going to select Next. It's going to calculate how much disk space it needs. Other than that, you're going to go ahead and just continue with it. However, I have already installed it on my computer here, so otherwise you would just continue on and select Next. Let it install, and then once you're done, you would restart your computer. And that would be about it. So once you're done with that, you would restart your computer. If you're still having a problem, you can go open up a web browser once you've restarted your computer. And we are going to go search up .NET Framework. And you just want to search for that. Again, you can do that in Google. I'm just typing into the address bar up here because it also is Google search as well. And we're going to select one of the first links here, a Microsoft Domain, and it says download.net framework. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And now we're going to select the most up-to-date version of the time of this recording, and we're going to go ahead and just left-click on it. Currently version 4.8. might be newer for you guys. And now we're going to select the Net Framework 4.8 runtime download here on the right side. Just go ahead and left click on it. And we might have to select the keep button for some reason. It looks like it wants to block it. You can see it's a Microsoft domain here. And once it's done downloading, just go ahead and open it up. It should say Microsoft Corporation as a verified publisher. Go ahead and select yes. And you can see it already has been installed on my computer, like the uh, DirectX download, but if yours was not installed, which is more than likely probably the case here, you want to go ahead and just follow the on-screen instructions, and then you would restart your computer at that point. And that would really be about it, guys. There wouldn't be too much more to do at that point. You should be done. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.